Okay. Chemical Texture Services, day one. The definition of Chemical Texture Services is hair services that cause a chemical change that alters the natural wave pattern of the hair. That is permanent waving, we're adding wave or curl to the hair. Relaxing, we're removing wave and curl. And curl reforming, which is also known as soft curl permanence. They, um, we loosen over curly hair by putting curves in them. Um, we change tightly curly or coiled hair into loose curls or waves. Quick review of hair structure. Uh, page 226 in your textbook, it is, I believe, chapter 7. I'm not sure. 226. Um, the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. The cuticle is the outside layer. It's the tough layer. It looks like fish scales. We have to get into there to get to the cortex, which is the middle layer that we need to um, work with to make things change, to change those bonds. Um, all the bonds are there that we're dealing with. Um, the medulla is the innermost layer. Not all hair has a medulla. So it's also called the pith or the core, and they're just it's worthless to us. There is no role in any of our services. Uh, the other thing you need to know when you're perming is potential hydrogen. It represents the quantity of hydrogen ions in a substance. It measures the acidity and alkalinity of a solution or substance by measuring the quantity of hydrogen ions it contains. The pH scale is 0 to 14. Neutral is 7. Below 7 is acidic. Above 7 is alkaline. The pH of hair is 4.5 to 5.5, so it is acidic. If you bring that up to a 6, you're making it more alkaline even though it's on the acidic end of the scale. Okay, anytime you're bringing it up, you're making it more alkaline. Chemical solutions raise the pH of hair to an alkaline state. This action opens the cuticle and allows the solution to reach the cortex where all of our work is being done. That's where the restructuring is. Coarse resistant hair is going to take a stronger alkaline solution. Porous damaged and chemically treated hair requires less alkaline solution. Um, this page. Um, so back to the chapter we're actually on. The figures are on 599 and 600 in your book. Um, and they make it a lot more easy to understand if you can watch the pictures. Amino acids are compounds made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Need to know those five amino acids that make up amino acids. Peptide bonds are end bonds. They join the amino acids together. Okay, so there's a bond between the amino acids. And they make long little chains. Kind of looks like pop beads that little kids have. Um, these long chains are called polypeptide chains, and keratin proteins are long coiled polypeptide chains. So your keratin proteins are made up of those amino acids, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Um, there are also side bonds that we're going to get to here pretty quick. They are responsible for the strength and elasticity of the hair. The cortex this is all going on in the cortex, is made up of millions of polypeptide chains, which are cross-linked by three types of side bonds. Your side bonds, when you alter those, that's what makes wet setting, thermal styling, permanent waving, curl reforming, and chemical relaxing possible. If you don't mess with those bonds, you can't do anything. Uh, there are three types. Hydrogen is a weak physical side bond. Easily broken by water or heat. This is your wet setting. This is your curling irons, your flat irons, things like that. Um, it's reformed when it dries or when it cools. Um, it accounts for a third of the hair's strength just because there are so many of them. They're very weak, but there's a lot of them. Salt bonds is the second type. It is a weak physical side bond again. They're easily broken by changes in pH, so they will reform when the pH returns to normal, um, but an example would be when we have wrapped perms and put Pantene shampoo on. Okay, They're a little stronger than the hydrogen, but they're still weak. Also one third of hair strength because there's a bunch of them too. The disulfide bonds, these are the bonds we're going to be dealing with when we're doing chemical services, uh, texture services. Disulfide bonds are strong chemical side bonds. 
they are sulfur atoms in two adjacent protein chains are joined together. So that's where you get the disulfide. Um, there are less of these bonds, but they are stronger, so they're still a third of the strength of the hair. That is it. <laughs>